Right, and it's there. See, look. And that, as they say, is it. Today's task. Today's task is to fit the SW Modetech uh, centre stand to the Yamaha Tenere 700. Uh, yes, in the true fashion of Life 2 on Tour, I've already done one, so I've already got a few tips and things in mind. Um, it's really not that difficult. Um, just be easier if I could move a little easier, but hey, that's my problem, not anyone else's, and certainly not SW Motex. Um, so, anyway, let's cut to the chase and let's unwrap the goodies. Let's have a, a bowl for your bits and pieces. Right, that's all the bits and pieces out. I have to say, I give a big shout out to SW Motec for these. They are instructions, very detailed instructions. They come with the product. Um, some other products we fitted didn't have any instructions at all nothing on the website and you kind of have to work it out as you go along yes there are some YouTube videos this will be one of these for this um, but yeah instructions and they're great now I actually printed a copy off from a PDF that was available on their website very easy to find because I wasn't actually expecting them to be there but they are written in German and English so well done SW Motec for um, yeah, providing instructions. Always handy. Let's crack on. First thing we have to do is some plate off. Now, it's not in the instructions, but I have found that it is really is far easier to take some plate off first. Very easy, four bolts, uh, what size is it, 8 mil. As you can see they loosen up very easily and two more on the other side. Right, one, some plate off. To keep to one side, we will need those, obviously. And if anyone's interested, that is what the two cent looks like with no bash plate in place. Both of the MT07 engine. So yeah, no real surprises there. First piece is all about just putting these things together. Rubber stop goes into here. Need to make sure it's easy to twist in. As you can see there, I haven't actually got that in place properly yet. Keep twisting and moving in until it's in. I'll show you in a minute. Right. And there you have it. Hopefully you can now see that that is properly in place. The rubber twists. It's nicely in place, it's not going anywhere. Simple. That's that bit. So we've got the short spacer. Short spacer. As opposed to the long spacer, don't need that. So short spacer, bolt and washer. Very simple and that goes... Which bit? comes in through the back of that one and that one. So that's all very nicely in place. Don't forget the washer, I did first time round. Not actually on this piece, but anyway, it takes forever to wind it in and out if you happen to forget it. 
12mm socket and taking out that one which is just above the head of the side stand. That one we keep for later. Don't need it today. Or you know, keep for whatever. Throw in the bin of whatever I keep. Don't need it. Now we get a little bit fiddly. Found this fiddly before. That one. Depends how you see what I'm digging around at now. Right, so I want the long bolt. Washer that goes on it. Sort it. Long spacer. I'll need that in a minute. And I need the bolt that'll go on there. And Another watcher. Find one that fits. That one will fit. Right, okay. So we know that this one goes in a hole in the frame that is already there. It's been put there from factory. Um, we haven't taken anything out. This bolt will go through the frame first of all and through there and tighten up. So actually, this bolt goes straight in there, make sure you've got the washer in place, run it through, it'll go all the way through. What you will find is the 17 head snags on the little uh, pivot of the peg. Likewise, when you get into the main body there, it's actually very difficult, almost impossible to get a socket in there because the 17 head's just that little bit snug on there, but you keep going as much as you can. And in fact, while we're this far out, pop the spacer in while you still, pop that big spacer in while you still can, because when the bolt comes out, it'll get very close It'll get close to that nut there on the linkage, suspension linkage, and obviously then it'll be difficult to put that in. So as you're winding this bolt in, put the spacer in place, it's all ready. Okay, before I push that all the way through there, I want to put this plate onto there. Just makes it all so much easier. Um, okay. Find the right hole. That pops in there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Give it a go. Washer. Comes on there. And then nylon nut. Use the back of my hand on the nylon that goes on there. There we go so far. That's it. Now then this bolt here, yeah, let's fucking show you. Up in there. Hopefully you can see it well on the camera. I can can't really see it very well. But anyway, up in there. Just about where my finger is now, there's already a cut thread in there. It's not used from the factory. I'm going to tuck that uh, side stand switch out the way. It will come out the way, don't worry. And then push the bolt through. Let's put the camera down and see if I can show you what I'm doing. Then that wants to wind into there. And don't forget to put the washes on because it's not the easiest of things to get into, at least not for me. And uh, if you leave the washer off like me, you end up having to take that thing off again and start again. But I suppose it means I've had lots of practice. 
Right, I'm just going to wind these in with a spanner. Of course you won't hear me because I'm going to cut through all this and speed through this anyway. I'll just put a bit of music on it. Because this bit is boring. Right, another tip. Oh, make sure you tighten that one up first. Because if you try tightening up the nylock nut inside without it tied up, then all it does is undo it. Very annoying, so tighten that. Nip it up nice and tight. Obviously we'll come back round with the uh, torque wrench later. that just so there's a bit of play a bit of play in there right that's that done right this bit needs to go up into there with these the smallest of your allen key bolts or allen bolts whatever will end up going into there That side done at least for the minute. So now we're on the right hand side of the vehicle and I need to remove two bolts. I need to remove that bolt and that bolt. Okay, two bolts. That's Oops. those two bolts out, and we put them with the one from the other side, and we will keep them for another day. We don't need them today. Right, two bolts, two washers, go on that and on that, and two smaller spacers. These ones, two small spacers, and this plate. And this plate is basically going to sit up there like that, but not quite because that needs to go through there. Spacer on, and then into there. That's those two in there, still a bit of play in there, right way around. Okay, now we get to the good bit, I think. We turn the page over. Woohoo! Last page. Last page. Now we need a bit of grease to push the hat spacers or the hats in. So where's my grease? Where's my blooming grease? Typical. It's all the way over the other side. Let's go and find it. Right, one of the problems of using a camera, a little GoPro camera, is that the battery runs out so I'm not quite sure how far you got. I'm hoping you've got to see me so we'll run through it. These bolts that attach this so that with big washers that screw in to here. The hat that is in between these, because obviously this needs to move, is um, you need to grease it and put it in. I'm hoping that you saw that. Um, if not, I'll try and add a bit more of a description. But there is a kind of hat type of washer that fits through this main plate needs to be greased up 
then you put this in place, Allen bolt through with a big washer, screws into it, tighten it all up. Okay. And no real surprises. Oh, you do the same with this side. So it might actually be easier to see from here, I'm not sure. But anyway, there's a kind of washer hat spacer thing that's in between this plate and this plate. It's got grease on it. Uh, this is then this bolt. It's been tightened up through. You can see it coming through the other side down there. Wound up nice and tight. Nice and tight. So you get your movement. But you would if I didn't have that in the way. So you look nice and movement. Okay. Now for the last bit, which is the genius bit, is fitting the spring. Now this bit is quite genius. So put that on there. You've got this little magic bit here. This little magic bit here, which hooks in on the springs. Springs over the top there. Long bolt. Long bolt. Washer onto the long bolt. Okay. That comes up through the bottom of there. Spacer on there. And it's that. It works easier, I think. If that is up in the air. That then. This is genius. With the OEM one, you have to use a spring puller. Alright, this bit is genius. Well, it's not, G. it's not genius as such, but anyway, springs. They're not under tension, it's all far too floppy. That, that bolt in there, come up through, holds into here. Spacer in there, obviously a washer in there as well. The idea is you then wind, do that up, pulls that down, brings the springs under tension, which then holds it up. So let's do it. As they say, is it obviously? Well, right, it needs to go around and nip everything up, get the torque wrench out. No, yeah, so I won't bother showing you that bit. Right, there you have it. One thing you missed me doing was putting the sump plate on, but hey, you saw me take it off, it's four bolts. Easy enough, so just put them back on. Nip everything up all nice and tight. And uh, she's up on the centre stand. And I have to say, she's, uh, yes, nice. Hopefully she'll do exactly what we need her to do, which is basically getting the back wheel off the ground. I can mess around with the bits and pieces. So much more stable now. Certainly a lot more stable than the um, uh, paddock stand. And uh, so yeah, there you go. So there you have it. Job done. SW Motor Tech centre stand on the Yamaha Tenere 700. And yes, I've done two of them. Um, actually rather easy, instructions are good, no messing about with heavy springs, um, it's quite a nice idea that, putting the spring in from the other side. Can be a bit fiddly, it will be for me, because I'm a bit of a heavy chap, so um, yeah, I'm not used to getting on the ground. So anyway, that's it, Thank you for, thanks for watching. 
you like this please subscribe like below I don't know ring the bell is that what you're supposed to do uh, can't really get to it but there you go cheers bye bye